Hi and welcome to the next in our series of macrame tutorials. Today I'm going to be creating a simple wall hanging using the berry knot. Um, we'll also be using the lark's head knot as well. Um, and the berry knot is made up of square knots. So if you're familiar with the square knot, um, then this is going to be straightforward. If you're not, then there are beginners knots tutorials on our channel. So feel free to have a look at those to become familiar with the square knot. So today I'm going to use a pair of sharp scissors. I always use my Fisker razor. Um, I've got just a pet brush, which I'm going to use to fringe the ends of the wall hanging. I've got a stick that's about 18 centimetres um, in length and I'm using the Bobbini 3mm in um, the new Blackberry. So this only came out um, last week, this was the last one to be released. So this is the 3mm single twist. So the single twist means it will fray nice and easily. Now, if you're looking at a bobbinny spool and you can't find the end, there is a little trick. So you just find one of the cords and then eventually you'll find where it gets, it's tucked in. So all you're going to do there is just pull it out and there's your end, okay? So I'm going to cut myself 12 cords of 1.5 meters and I'm going to cut myself another cord of 50 centimeters and then I'm just going to be using some short cords for the fringing um, at the end which be about 30 centimeters in length but we'll, we'll go through that when uh, we get there. Okay, so if you cut all your cords, get your work surface ready. I'm working on my cork board again. If you're a regular viewer of our tutorials, you know that I like to use my cork board with my pins. But it's just as good to work on a hanging rail. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so get everything ready and we'll make a start. Okay, so I've cut all of my 1.5 metre or 150 centimetre cords and I'm going to attach them to the stick just with a lark's head knot. So I'm going to, as always, make sure my ends meet together so that we know that our working cords are even in length. Then the other end, you've got a loop. We're going to put the loop over the stick, okay, open up that loop and pull the other two cords through. Okay, and we're going to pull that so it's nice and snug against the stick. And I'm going to repeat that with all 12 cords. So if you do the same, make sure the ends of your cord meet together work to the other end and you've got your loop, loop over your stick and then pull your two cords through. Okay, so if you do that now and I'll meet you when we're done. Right, I've attached all of my cords with a lark's head knot, so we've got 12 and what I'm going to do is we're not actually going to use the outer lark's head knot yet. So I'm going to just pin either side of that first lark's head knot, because then this will hopefully stop my work um, moving around too much. Okay, so we've now got 10 lark's head knots here and then we'll come to those later. And we're going to be making a berry knot. 
Now, to make the berry knot, we just use the square knot, okay? I'm just going to zoom this in a bit for you, just so you can see it a bit clearer. So I'm going to be working my group of four. I've got my two centre cords, which are the filler cords, and I'm going to make the first half of the square knot, okay? As I said, refer to the beginner's knots tutorials if you need to. And there's the second half of my square knot. Okay. And there I have my first square knot. Actually, what I want to do is I want to leave, see that little gap there? Just leave a little gap so we've got enough room to feed the cords through. You'll see what I mean in a second. Then we're going to make a second square knot. And then we're just going to make half of a third square knot. Okay. So we've got one full square knot, two full square knots, and then just half a square knot. Now what we're going to do is to make this into the berry. In fact, if I lift this up a little bit, oh, I pinned a fibre there. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take these cords, so the two filler cords that were in the centre of the square knots, and we're going to feed them through that gap that we left. Okay, so it might be a bit fiddly to begin with, but you just want to feed those two cords. There we go, through there. Okay, and then if I flatten this down again. All right, and there you can see we've got a berry. Okay, so if you can see that, we've got a complete berry. But we want to make sure now that that's held securely. So we'd done the first half of the third square knot and now we're going to do the second half of a square knot. Okay, oh, I'm going to get my cords the right way around. Okay, so there we go. There's my second half, which is my P, through the P loop and then just pull that So it's snug against there. And there you are. There you have got your first berry. Okay, and this colour, this new blackberry is actually fab for the berry knot because it uh, just goes with the whole autumnal kind of theme. Okay, right. I'm going to go through that again. Don't worry, I'm going to I'll go through this a few times. Okay. So... Remember, you want to leave a little gap here. One square knot be made. One. There we go, that's one full one. A second full square knot. And half of a third one okay then again you're going to feed these cords you do this the best way you find okay there we go i just put that back down there okay and pull those so there i've got a second berry and then it's the all important second half of that third square knot which means that it's going to hold in its position so your p loop make sure it goes over the center two cords and then my l cord as i call it goes behind and then up and through the p loop and then just pull that together okay make sure that's Nice and snug. 
it's going to look really cute. So we're going to repeat that all the way across. Remember, we're leaving that last one out for now. And then for the next row, we're going to make begin to make an alternating pattern. So just as we're making an alternating square knot, we're going to make an alternating berry pattern. So we'll leave four chords to the left because we don't need those. And we'll work in a group of four here, which will join those two berry knots. Okay, and we'll keep going alternately. So we'll come in, so we'll have five on the first row, then four, then three, then two, and then one. Okay, so we'll do that now, and then I'll meet you when we've done. Okay, so I've finished all of the berry knots and what we're going to do now is we're going to make the um, like the border for underneath. Okay, so how we're going to do that is we're going to shuffle that cord over to the right because we're going to use that in a minute and I'll show you how. But we're going to use this left hand lark's head knot Okay, and the left cord I'm going to keep hanging down, it's going to be part of the fringe. But this right hand cord of that lark's head knot is going to border the edge of the berries. Okay, and then we're going to now tie that cord to the stick. So, to do that, go over and then come inside. Okay, pull that through and then come over the cord. Then I'm going to go behind the stick this time, bring it over and I'm going to go through that loop that's made. Okay, and that's joining it to the stick with a lark's head knot. Okay. Straighten out my work again. Okay, so we've now got this cord that's bordering the berries. And what we're going to do is this is where we're going to use the shorter pieces of cord. And the length is up to you really because this is going to be um, our fringe. And it's going to add to these cords which are our fringe as well. So, you, I mean, you're automatically going to have different length cords from the square knot work that we did to make the berries. Okay, so you might want to keep it all um, sort of like jagged, so it's all different lengths. Or you might decide that you want to cut it so it's all one length, in which case make your cords long enough so you can do that. But all you're going to do is add these cords so I've folded one in half, ends meet, loop over, and you're going to attach them with a the lark's head knot. Okay, and that's just going to create a nice little border all around those berries. So once you've done that, that's the wall hanging pretty much complete, apart from the hanging cord. Now this is going to be our hanging cord, so I'm just going to make one of those cords, there we go, longer than the other, that can form part of the fringe. And just as we tied the lark's head knot here, we're going to attach that with the lark's head knot here. 
So take it over the stick and behind and then through that loop. Okay, and then that will have attached with the lark's head as well. Okay, so that is your berry wall hanging. So I'm just going to finish off. Oh, I'm just going to finish off attaching my lark's head nuts. And then I'm going to trim my fringe and I'm actually going to brush it out because I like uh, I like the brushed out effect. OK, but there you go. So. You do that now and I'll meet you in a second. Okay, and there we have our finished berry knot wall hanging, all ready to decorate the room of your choice. You can just tie the tie the ends of the hanging cord uh, just behind so they can't see. Okay, right, thank you again for watching. If you like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with more. Hit like to help us grow leave a comment, share some pictures with us. It'd be great to see what you've all been up to. Okay, looking forward to the next one. Thank you. Bye.